my goodness. <laughs> Welcome all of you to Tech on Tuesday with me, John, the net guy. Uh, I am amazed. There were so many people. I came in here oh, about an hour ago, and there were people waiting then for this show. And I know it's got to be because of this product that I have right in front of me from the Wise Company, the new Wise Gun Safe. And this product today, I've been watching the chats and watching the Facebook and trying to reply to everybody because I couldn't make, I made a three minute video. I couldn't tell you everything about this if I had an hour. Now we've got about 45 minutes tonight. I'm going to show you all that I know about this product. I'm going to answer your questions. I'm going to do all that I can to give you every feature this has. And I will probably still miss some or misplace some, which I'm looking, I think I might've left the keys. Oh, there they are. <laughs> um, but if you do have questions, feel free to use the chat. Behave in there. I've got a moderator tonight, and he's he's got the band hammer out. I know that this is really important to some people. As a dad, it's really important to me. And when I got the call that said, hey, you know that gun safe that there were some rumors about? Well, it's real, and it's coming out in a week. I was like, yes, you picked the right guy for the job. <laughs> so what is Tech on Tuesday? Uh, and what, who am I? Who is the net guy? This is my weekly live stream. I'm doing this all throughout 2022. It's on YouTube. It's 5.30 p.m. Pacific on Tuesdays, and I'm also on Amazon Live uh, normally. Now, because I'm showing a product that's not available yet on Amazon, I'm not going to be on Amazon Live right now, but as I show some of the other products that you'll see in the description, some other safety products and some cool accessories that go with this, I'm going to you know, go ahead and turn the Amazon on. So we'll have a little intermission in about 45 minutes, and then I'm going to show you a bunch of cool stuff that goes with it. But without further ado, there are going to be guns. <laughs> some are real and some are not. I might have to quiz you guys in the chat here and see if you guys can pick and, and spot the, the fake gun or the real gun. That could be a fun thing. But because they're guns here, I'm going to tell you a couple safety things. None of the guns in here are loaded. Now, you want to treat every gun as if it is loaded, but I'm just telling you, there are no bullets in this entire room. Also, <laughs> uh, the guns that are in here, like I said, a couple of them are not real. And I'm going to make sure that we go over some gun safety rules. So let me do that real quick. I'm going to pull them up real quick here. And these are the four immutable. I think there's five if you if you go with the real gun nuts uh, rules of gun safety. And that is treat every firearm as if it were loaded. That is absolutely important. You've got to do that. Um, even the fake gun, I'm going to treat as if it were loaded because you never know. And it's funny when my friends hand me guns, if they had just checked them, I will still check them and you'll see responsible gun owners doing that. Never point a gun at anything you're not willing to destroy. And third, keep your finger off the bang button. That's the short version of it. And fourth, be sure of your target and what is behind it. If you follow these four basic rules, you're going to really do well in gun safety. You're not going to have a negligent discharge other things that that responsible gun owners hate now what's funny about this product is it has been so polarizing so the people that that don't think you should have guns don't want it for some reason and the people like me who don't think people that shouldn't have guns shouldn't have guns want it so <laughs> i was talking to people today on facebook and i was like hey uh you know you may not like car wrecks but you want seat belts right wise is not endorsing guns with this they're not making slings they're not making accessories they're making home safety products, which is what they do all the time. And they're doing it with their unique wise flare, which I love. I am going to hit the chat real quick here because I want to see <laughs> if we've got some questions right away here. <laughs> there we go. Yes, we are going to very do all that. We're going to do all that. And I'm checking, checking, checking. Okay, we're good on the chat here. Uh, so first off, what is the Wise Gun Safe? It is the first safe that I know of that has four different opening mechanisms. The first one, obviously, is biometric fingerprint, which is just awesome to have. So you just put your finger over that. Well, let's put it that way. And the safe opens right up. So... 0.8 second accessibility. Now I'm upside down, so the fingerprint scanner is a little bit off, but every time I do it in the normal direction, it works. Now, if I use the wrong finger, it doesn't work. So that's one access method. The second one, you probably saw my code in the video. One, two, three, 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 three. Takes a little bit longer, opens up. It's using a code. Now there are ways to put other codes in this. You can put guest codes in it. 
So you can you can add a guest code. That, I guess I got that guest code wrong. <laughs> so that's another mechanism. Um, there's also a backup key slot in this, and that's really cool. Now, I can't say anything about gun safes without talking about the lock picking lawyer. Now, the lock picking lawyer is God around here. Uh, I watch all of his stuff if I can, but he puts out so many videos destroying safety products and locks right and left, you know, using a tennis ball to open a Volkswagen, <laughs> things that you would never think of. Um, but this key, I got to show you real quick here. It's pretty unique. It is got a separated keyway there and it's got indentation. So it's definitely like a disc system, I guess is what he calls them. So this is a very unique choice. And they were saying that the product manager for this product watches that. So they're improving and constantly making it better. So third way that we can open this is through this hidden access port. There we go. So I can use the key and I can then open up as a physical backup. Now that may be if you had a complete power outage, some problem with the unit, you have a physical backup key. Now that's usually where most of them get attacked. So I'm kind of interested how the lock picking lawyer is going to handle that, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And then the last one is in the wise app. Now I'm going to show you that here. I'm going to pull my wise app up and this thing's already set up. And I will bring that up here on the screen so you can see it. Wise app there is on the left. And I called this one, well, arguably the bang box because holds the pistols, right? So I go in here and I put in my code, which is the same one you saw on the screen there. And it's going to connect to it. Now, the last way to open this again is with the unlock button right there in the app. It locks it. Now, if you look down at the history there, though, you're going to see it just caught up but it actually showed you all the different ways that it was being opened. And it even shows the fingerprint attempts there. So you can see the ways I've opened it today. So that's pretty cool. You have a history with your gun lock. Now, let me show you something real quick because this question came up. They said, what about this gun lock that is made by this no-name company that is cheaper than the wise? <laughs> I always remind me of those uh, memes where they say, you know, I can get it done cheaper because that's what happens. But in, in general, people are always looking for a cheaper option. So this was the safe. Now it has three of the four mechanisms I just showed you. It has the fingerprint reader. It has a key code button system, which again, to program new buttons, I'll show you how to do that in the Wise app. It is super duper easy. Um, but, you know, that's something you're gonna have to do physically here. This one I can do from the comfort of my recliner and just have to be in Bluetooth range. And then lastly, it has this circular keyway, which actually is usually the way that they break into these things really easily. They do impressioning. So that's a way that they use a pen or something similar to that. And that can, um, you know, very easily open that. If you ever seen like the kryptonite bike lock hacks, they use a, a big pen, you stretch out a little bit and you can open your big, uh, your kryptonite bike lock. So I definitely think that this one's hackable, but you know, is the, what is it? 24 extra dollars that they're asking from wise worth it? I absolutely think so. So yes, it is a little bit annoying. <laughs> the sounds I'm getting a question in here and I'm going to pull that up real quick. Cause I do want to, again, answer all the questions here. And I'm going to put you guys up here real quick. And we're talking about safe mounting. There was that uh, compatibility with the cable lock. And can the tone be muted uh, opening the cover? Yeah, uh, that is the question from Dave Williamson. Awesome. Thank you guys so much, Dave, for joining here. So yes, the tone can be muted here. Let me pull up the app again. I'm going to pull you away there, Dave, for a second. And so if I want to go in here, I can go to the settings. I can change. I can share. I can do access codes. And I've got the sound cranked up to high. So I can have the normal volume, which is there, or I can turn the sound off completely. So now it's just doing visual. Now, if you fail enough times, I want to see if this will lock itself out and do the alarm. It should have locked itself out and done the alarm here um, because I failed the fingerprint several times. But that's the sound settings on it. There's a light setting in here. Oh, there we go. I want you guys to hear that. So the alarm takes a little bit of time to go off and it should notify me as well in the app. 
but there's the keypad lighting there's the interior lighting thank goodness that thing stopped beeping there's all of these settings that are available in the app there's also this concept of an app lock so this is one of those things that came out in the in the facebook group today and they said well what if my kid unlocks my phone and goes to my wise app which is always open can they open my gun safe and get my gun and the answer is no um, you can put a new and unique code in here so i'm just going to use one that I've been using here for the demos. And now to get in the app and to open the item here, you're gonna need that code every single time. So you can see I went away from it and now I'm going to it and I need that code before I can do any controls or add anything or do anything with it. And then you see in here the log, it says multiple failed fingerprint attempts. As a parent, this was something that was super important to me because we had teenagers in the house <laughs> we have a teenager in the house and we have one that's a preteen and a couple uh, younger kids and I would like to know that even though I've stored my guns safely that they're in a locked room that they're now locked in a safe that if for some reason my kids were exploring around the house as they do that they had maybe tried or found the safe so now this will not if you're out at dinner it's not going to tell you that it's bluetooth only and you have to open the app here to see the the log of it but I really do like the capability that it's got to answer a couple questions as we're going here, um, let's see here. Since it's Bluetooth the app, will the history update so you'll notify it immediately if a second unauthorized user accesses it? Eric, that's a great question, and I would have to do some more testing on that. I don't want to steer you the wrong way. If we got some wise people in the chat, they might be able to help you out on that one. Uh, the other question, this is coming from the TOG OG, is it TSA certified? Now, technically, I don't think so because it does not have a TSA lock. There's some questions about uh, separating ammunition from firearms and whatnot, but I do have something coming up on the Amazon show that is TSA certified if you use it with the correct lock. So that's a great question. This is really for home storage. And I think that's a really good time to just show you how I would mount this. So if you guys have more questions, feel free to shoot them out. In the chat. We're going to take those. So I'm going to open this thing up real quick here. If I can, angle my finger right <laughs> there we go just unlock it with the app got cold hands today so if i take out this liner now some people have asked can i mount this on a wall and absolutely i just want to show you this thing is super heavy and i don't want to destroy my laptop but hopefully you guys can see those two little holes right there in the base and i'm going to try to switch to a camera where maybe you can so there's two mounting holes pre-drilled in the base now this thing's going to come with not only the the screws that you need to mount it but it's actually going to come with some anchors which i thought was awesome of them Let's see if i kept those accessible or if i hid them from myself i want to check real quick yeah go ahead and feel free to load the chat up i'm going to keep checking back to that routinely and there where did that second box go well <laughs> That's the uh, live demo that you get there. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, you do get two drywall anchors that come with it and four batteries. So that's a really cool thing. Um, you don't have to go out and hunt batteries for this thing. The other cheaper ones, you got to get batteries. You know, they don't come with uh, batteries in that case. I am going to show you something interesting about this because, you know, other people are looking at like cable locked alternatives. So you're like, okay, so I have a, a handgun. I'm just going to use a cable lock with it, right? And that had been my theory before. I used trigger locks on rifles because I can't fit them in something like this. And I've used cable locks. But again, for the lock picking lawyer in the room, I'm going to tell you about that. Now, I am going to show you a handgun. But before I do that, I am going to verify that it is not loaded, like I said, which it is. So this is my personal handgun. I'm following all those handgun safety rules. I'm going to lock it back. So this is in the open position. This is a completely safe firearm. And I'm going to grab... A competitive product now this is a product that you might see and a lot of states require that they give you a gun lock when they give you a gun or sell you a gun at a store now so it's a traditional cable lock i'm going to show you on the side screen here so you can see it so it's a 15 inch cable lock and there's a place for these right these things are a deterrent they're going to keep honest people out or people that don't have a lot of time but i'm just going to simply slide that through and lock it now this gun is completely safe again it cannot be fired in this position it's locked out as you see here and it has this lock that you can see here i'm going to show you 
roughly how long it takes an enterprising child to do that. Now, I was able to do this without any special tools, but because I want to show you this live here, I'm just going to use a, a just a bent piece of metal. It's called a torque wrench. And just very light pressure with this pick. Let's see here. I'm going to do a couple passes. Uh-oh, see? This is the, the curse of the live demo, right? And I wanted to show you that if you had an enterprising kid, or like myself, I had when I was a kid a lock-picking set, and I was the kid that all the teachers went to to get their desks open. The desks that the prior teacher never gave them the key to or something happened. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that took me longer than expected. And actually, I over-rotated it slightly, but... There you go. So that firearm that was safe and secure, your kid now has access to. And to me, that's incredibly important that you have something that is safe and secure. So now I'm going to show you the alternate here with the Ys. Now I can keep this loaded. Again, we said this gun's not loaded. You can see here that yellow tab. You can also see down the, the way there, that yellow tab, and there is no bullet in the chamber. I can keep the gun in the wise gun safe completely ready to use stage one if you want to call it that and one fingerprint i'm ready to go i have access to my firearm so you could buy this it's 5.99 it's in the description and i think there's again a place in the world for for locks like these and i'm actually going to make it easier on myself i'm going to relock it with the key <laughs> so um you know you could you could lock it with something like this but then remember that you know the safety is only as good as that lock so you can do this. Uh, some people are saying, <laughs> do you have proficiency with thieves tools? <laughs> yep. Looks good there. Um, Dave Williamson, you got a great question in there. I want to pull it up here. It looked like those wall mount bolts you showed earlier were really stout. Like they were solid mount to studs or brick or stone. Absolutely. So they include, and unfortunately I don't know where I put them because I've been really busy today prepping for the show um, but they include wall mount anchors in a little box as well as the screws as well as the batteries for this now those anchors are i believe for both concrete and drywall they're the metal expanding ones not plastic or anything like that my preferred method of installation would always be to put this into studs now that was one thing i noticed about this and i, I responded on the facebook chat i would try to line up one of the studs with one of the holes that's there Thank you, uh, Dave, for that question. Um, so I would line up one of the studs with one of the holes that's there and use an anchor on the other one. This thing's definitely not wide enough to be, you know, using both sides. But that's how I would do it and how I would recommend it. Secondly, um, if you had to use both anchors, if you have a concrete wall, that's perfect. You could also drill new holes. Now, this stuff is stout. Like I said, this thing is 12 pounds. The next closest competitors I saw was 10. So it's definitely heavier and stouter than those. Um, really, really incredibly well built. And for the people that think, well, the lockpicking lawyer is going to look at this thing and it's going to pop open mir miraculously. He's not Moses, but to me, he's pretty close. I have a super high powered magnet and I spent the whole afternoon <laughs> with this thing here trying to go around to see if I could find where the relay or solenoid was that was open would open this. And I think it's actually done differently. I, I was asking wise about that, but we'll see. Um, Charles D any discount codes. It's a great time to talk about where you can buy this. Now I can't say this once we get into Amazon live because they don't like competition, <laughs> but wise actually is already selling this. Let me pull their, their site up. So if you just visit wise.com, the gun safe is right on the top. The pricing on this thing is phenomenal. Um, again, 129 for the next closest competitor that doesn't have an app. It doesn't log entries and, and attempted entries. It doesn't have all of the things that the Wise uh, product is giving you. And this one has free shipping right now. I know shipping has been a sore subject with Wise. I've honestly felt that pain as well as you guys before. So shipping is uh, going to be free on this right now. This thing's 12 pounds, so in the future, if they do start charging shipping, it's going to be expensive. A friend of mine just bought two of these and got free shipping on them, and so he's got those. I really want to get one of these for my dad. Hopefully he's not watching. It's his birthday tomorrow, so um, you know he doesn't have... He's got a, a like a, 
a safe that you have to do the dial on and everything. I don't want that for him. So that is, again, the wise gun safe here. I'm going to go down and talk about a couple more of the features here. So um, let's talk about capacity. That was another thing. So if you go look on Amazon, there are other gun safes, but they don't nearly have the capacity, especially the cheaper ones are smaller and lighter. So I'm going to go ahead and move some things around so I can get to show you that. One second. Okay. So again, interior volume of this. And, and who wants to hear this peel? I never get to do the cool peels, but I've been saving this plastic for you guys. Let's see. Okay, hopefully you guys all got that. I, I saved that even from the video here. So uh, let's talk about capacities on this. Uh, or let's talk about my fingerprint. Maybe my hands are getting cold like they are in here. And maybe my fingerprint is not working as well as it used to. So if I try my finger and it's wrong, I can go to my backup code that fast and I'm into the safe already. So you can see. Now I have one Taurus Millennium G2 9mm. So that's the size of that. Now the next item I'm going to grab, and again, I can't check this one <laughs> because it's fake. It's not a gun. This is a replica of a Glock 19, and it's a BB gun, which I'll talk about later. But those are two. There's one is a compact, and then the other one is a normal, I would say, you know, medium compact there handgun. And there's plenty, plenty of room in there. Now, again, every time we look at a gun, that, was, that faked me out. That was actually the BB gun. But every time we look at a gun, we check for it, we make sure it's safe and unloaded which it is and on safe. I'm going to put that there. Um, my boy, <laughs> Mavi. <laughs> so he's got this. That's a real Taurus. You're right, Jonathan. You got that. Uh, some co subcompact on the Taurus. I would say the Glock 19 there. It's a little bit longer barrel, but this is my, uh, my boy Mavi's uh, totally fake Colt Python. You know, we picked it up for him just as a toy and yeah. It has the, the orange tip and everything and lights up and makes noise. Uh, I use this just for size. This is tight. And it's only honestly because they put that silly orange cap, which I'm not taking off because he doesn't need to be running around with a gun without an orange cap. But that Colt Python will fit in there even with that extra orange cap. So, you know, that is a very long gun. I'm going to show you guys uh, from a distance perspective how big that is. So this is a one foot ruler here. And I am on the 10 and three quarter inches here on the inside. So I've got 10 and three quarter inches on the inside that way to this side. I've got a little bit over six and then I believe it's just under three deep. So you've got plenty of room in there for at least one handgun with some accessories as well as, um, you know, two handguns, if that's the case. You know, and you have two handguns that are smaller. I do want to show one more handgun because it is one of my favorites. And again, I'm going to check it for being loaded. I believe the Marines used this one for a long time. This one is a Beretta 92FS, one of my favorites, the stainless. And so you can see that that to me is even larger than the Glock 19. So we can pull those up to each other and yeah so you can see that the barrel on that one is even bigger so the frame is larger and I can fit those in there so two handguns so that's a compact and a slightly larger one <laughs> is that really a one-to-one -one Colt Python I don't know uh, again if it's under we said 10 what do we say 10 and three quarter inches uh, barrel length overall but to uh, tip of the barrel that's gonna fit so again this is not a real gun that would be the BB gun that is the other gun that I'm going to put over here. So I'm going to check the chat real quick again for any more questions. You guys are firing them off. I can see them like scrolling by here fast and in a hurry. <laughs> oh, Pinky Tech. Love that Beretta. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> and let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. If I can't open it in time for a truder, can I damage throwing the safe at them? Uh, 12 pounds is going to do a number on any sort of intruder. Can you mount it sideways on a stud? You absolutely could mount it sideways on a stud. Thanks, Andrew, for checking in and asking that question. So, yeah, here's, again, the inside of it. You could mount it that way. You could mount it vertically like this, I guess, if that was your, your bag. 
I don't know if that's a supported installation method. Definitely works that way. So, you know, uh, your gun would be resting again on the bottom. All the sides in this, and I should show that here. I'm going to show it up close so you guys can see it. But all of the sides on this are padded. So a lot of the other ones, and there's the little lights. So you can see the lights that they have in there that light up. They're not super bright. I was testing them out last night, but they're not supposed to be, right? They're for you to locate and orient your handgun, but they're not going to be trying to light the room up with it. Um, I would recommend a tactical light if you're going to do that, and that would be another thing that you can save in your gun safe. <laughs> there you go. Um, also, you get your backer sticker. I back the Wise Gun Safe. So if you guys order it now, you guys are going to be able to do that. Let me go back and check the chat one more time real quick. I haven't seen Kren showing up yet. There we go. Is the key reversible? I want to answer that question for manual. Menu R. Thank you for asking that. This is that key I was showing earlier. Absolutely want to get right on there and show you that. And I have to bring your question out of the way so we can see. So this is the key. And again, nobody impressioned my key. <laughs> Maybe I do need to send this off to somebody. I may do a giveaway or something. Um, but the key actually is reversible and it's very unique. The tumblers are only on one side. So that the way that this disc system works, I opened it that way. I'm gonna try to do this exactly 180. So I turn it exactly 180. There's a little magnet in here. And so then I can do it again and I can open it again that way. So again, super duper easy. I even went so far as I took this tab off. I was able to pry it out of there, you know, doing my little lock picking lawyer justice. And uh, I was not able looking around to find a way to get in there. But to answer your question, Manu, the key is reversible. Will the lid block Z-Wave cell Wi-Fi might be a great place to put another smart home sensor. Ooh, that's a great idea. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't say that on, on YouTube. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoever said that. Uh, full metal looks cheap. Oh, no, you can't say that. Thomas Jacobson, is it full metal? This is all metal. Now, the only plastic bit I can see here is right on the, uh, the front lip there. I would say it is plastic uh, that I just took off the cover on. But yeah, the whole thing is this powder coated metal it has real you know basic branding with the wise built with lock-in technology so you know super durable other things that we probably should talk about and again different ways that safes are cracked um, you know is using some sort of prying tool but this has an anti-prying lid let me show you that real quick so as i come over here on the side camera as the lid goes down it's actually recessed the opposite direction so you can't get a, a tool in other than to pry it sideways uh, on all edges the hinges are another important thing so you can see how they're constructed in the back all the hinges are hidden inside of this so there's no exterior rivets to drill and check that clearance out once that closes you're not getting into anything because there's actually a material back here but you can't put a pry tool or a wedge tool under there and really get anything out of it so lots of really cool anti pry mechanisms the other thing is if you were able to get something on the lid the closure mechanism that they use you can see that tab i'm gonna try to bring it as close as i can that's the tab that they're touting and the lock mechanism down here that positively engages and then it clicks in and closes so that's another thing that really really makes it firm okay I'm going to go back and check the chat one more time. Is it fireproof? No, it is not, but I will talk about that. Well, I don't want to damage your save. It's difficult to pry the lid. Oh, Andrew, what a great idea on this one. Uh, 3D printed internal hanger. And uh, that's a great idea. Actually, I've seen a lot of people in the Wise Facebook group do some pretty amazing things for the Wise Watch and other products. So I really like that idea. Um, and can it attach a steel... Oh, this is a great question here from Sammy. Sammy, thanks for dropping by here. John, the net guy, if you guys are just joining here, there's a ton of you guys in the chat peppering me with questions here. Um, this is the wise gun safe that we're taking a look at. I would say the one thing, the one thing that might be the wise gun safe too, that I could see is a steel tether cable if you're going to use this for car use. I don't think this thing was intended for cars, to be honest. Um, that was never the intent of this device. 
So, you know, the weight of it, the size of it, it's not quite going to fit under a car seat. A lot of the ones that I've seen that have that tether you're talking about are a lot shorter and don't have the biometrics or don't have all the other really fancy features. They really are, you know, better than a glove box, but not quite. And so that's one, one reason I can say that they probably didn't add it to this one unless they're going to make another similar product. So that's another great question there. Um, there is no one on that. <laughs> and uh, lockout, there's a question if the power is out. Now, like I said, there's four ways to open it. That's eight. There's four ways to open it, but there's actually a fifth. So if, and this is not an included cable with this, but I have tons of these sitting around everywhere here. Um, you, for some reason, run the batteries out. You can actually use a very, very simple USB-C interface here. There it is right there. There's a little USB-C port. You put your USB-C cord that you, maybe your Wise headphones are using. You plug that into a computer, wall outlet, laptop, anything that's got some voltage, and you can power it up enough to use. And then you can get in there and replace your batteries. But again, super cool thing about having a backup key. And what I did, uh, honestly, one of my friends, I gave him my backup key to my safe. I figured if anything happened to me, he needed to get over to my house, do anything. He had my backup key to the safe. Uh, batteries, let's talk about that real quick. <laughs> this is an interesting part. There's a button you push down here to release the battery pack. So there's the battery pack. I did not put the Duracells in because I was doing demos and photos. So I just put some Amazon Basics in here, which are a good choice, by the way. Duracells that they include are even better. Uh, very simple to load. You load those in and you put them down here, but you know what? I'm going to close it and I'm going to use it now again, nothing works without the power, but I'm going to use it with just the lock mechanism. So again, backup key battery's completely dead. You can still get into your wise gun safe. Very cool. And I'm going to go ahead and put the batteries back in and then open the app. Make sure I got good connection here. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to come back and check. There's a noise that it made. Awesome. Can I power the safe with the cord? Matthew, thank you for asking that question. That's one that I have seen as well. And, you know, I believe it's for backup use. I don't know if I would want that, but the one advantage of, of having obviously a, a AC power adapter in there, you know, just even again for basic power, if, if it could not run the batteries down, that would be great. Um, secondly, if you did that, you wouldn't have to worry about batteries, you know, discharging fluid or, you know, any acid in there, but the way that they've got this designed, I'm not really worried about that. Um, the batteries make positive contact down there. So let's say I want to set this thing up for the first time. I'm going to kind of go back to the first here because I wanted to show you all the features of it, but then I'm gonna show you how easy this thing is to set up. Give me one second to make sure that it remembered and I'm going to hit the button in the app and there it is. It's wide open. Um, there is a reset button at the bottom of it that you can hold down for a few seconds. I'm actually going to delete this first and then I'm going to re-add it to my account. There we go. So we got some noises there. I'm going to bring up the side camera for you guys here. Oh, <laughs> got to reattach to my screen mirroring. Okay, it gave me a notice that said it was unpaired here. And I'm going to open the Wise app here. I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to go to a device, not a device group, sorry. Plus, add a device. And the reason I hit home was I was hitting home, and the gun safe is going to be at the bottom. I believe this is in today's app update. So if you get the most current app, you can do that. Open the safe, find the pairing button, hold the pairing button for three seconds until the safe beeps. Okay, the keypad will begin to flash green, which it's doing right now. There we go. And then next, searching for your gun safe. So this uses the Bluetooth low energy capability. So I want to show you guys that here. Connecting to your gun safe, connecting to the Wise Cloud, and finishing setup. Now, another question came up about the biometrics. Um, and bio pairings all done. There we go. So we can call it uh, a wise gun safe if we want to. So question again, I'm doing just a 123333 code. That's my new opening code for my safe. And yes, that will be changed afterward. <laughs> um, so we're adding that. 
Okay, remember the code, you can reset it if you forget it. Now, this is all of the contract about the biometrics. Biometrics are, are good to have, but as somebody said, you know, um, if I forget my password or somebody else finds my password, I can get a new one. You can't get a new finger, so there's some logistics here. But none of this is set to go to the cloud. That's the important thing and the thing that's important to me. Um, same thing with an iPhone. You know, that's the only reason I allow my iPhone to be used that way. Now, this is really going to trip it out because I'm going to do it upside down now. <laughs> but I'm going to do the... And I'm sorry it was so loud there because it seems to have reset all the settings and I'm moving my finger around quite a bit it's not happy with me for a second there we go your finger can now be used to open it so I'm gonna hit save um, now the app lock is not set up so this is that safety feature that again we we're gonna set up and I'm gonna put another code in here now I'm actually using the same code which you may or may not want to do that you may want a different code for the app side of it but there we go now I can use my fingerprint and I've set it up from scratch. You can see, I think that was only a couple minutes, if you guys keep me honest. That was uh, pretty fast. And you can see there, the log has already started, and it's telling me that I've unlocked it with my finger. You can also share it. Now, I can share it to another person. I don't know what features yet are available when you do share. I don't know if opening and adding codes or just looking at things is, but uh, my wife and I share this stuff all the time. The access codes here, you can, you can reset the master code or you can add a guest code. Guest name is friend1. Next. And here's the interesting thing. You cannot do 1234. <laughs> so that somebody did ask about that earlier today. Hey, Rare, thank you so much for joining. Awesome. Good to see you here. Um, so I tried 1234. Not going to take it. That's smart. Uh, smart stuff there. 442211. Let's do that. So that's completely different than my other one. We're saving that. Now, the cool thing is this is communicating over Bluetooth, right? So this is going to save that in the gun safe, and you're not going to see those codes in the app. So it's not like you can come over and all of a sudden, you know, somebody else has access to this. Now, what's interesting about this is if you look at the branding on this on the outside, to me, this screams safe, but it doesn't necessarily scream gun safe. And I could see this being used for, wait for it, <laughs> a wad of cash. <laughs> Maybe you have a ton of cash. I was going to do some pictures and maybe hide this in there or something. But um, if you had a ton of cash that you wanted to keep secure, you could absolutely do that. Um, you don't have to put a gun in it. And somebody asked that on the Facebook. They said, we have large amounts of money that we have to deposit weekly. Could I use this for, for that? And absolutely, I don't see any reason you couldn't. Again, super cool to put fingerprints in there so your employees that have the correct fingerprints can do that. You can open it in front of your employees or friends, and nobody needs to know your code because you're using your finger. Another interesting thing is 442211. That was my guest code. It's opened on that too. So I can put my stash of money in there and we're good to go. And yes, those are real hundreds. <laughs> Don't let me forget them. Um, if you close the case with the keys inside and battery are dead and problems with the Type-C, how do you open it? That's okay. That's the longest question I think I've ever put on here. Uh, a blowtorch. <laughs> I don't know. I think that one's done at that point. Uh, how many fingerprints can you store? That's a great question. And I heard on the video today that you can store up to 20. I'm going to cancel that setup. I was, uh, but that you can store up to 20 fingerprints. So thank you, Andrew Preston, for that question. How many can you do that? So again, if you don't have one of these and you're a parent, I would absolutely implore you to get one, regardless of what it is. If you can only afford $5.99, get one of these basic locks. Get your guns secured. Um, somebody did ask about that earlier on the WISE groups. They were talking about the, the gun safe and their displeasure with WISE making such a product again. <laughs> and... You know, I, I responded to him. I said, you know, there's 40% of the homes in the U.S. have some sort of firearm in them. So, you know, I would rather that 40% of the homes in the U.S. are using a proper wise lock, uh, a wise gun safe with their firearm. And if not, I would second, I would rather them use something like this as a minimum for their rifles and firearms, for sure. So I'm going to take one quick pass at the stuff and then i'm going to talk so one quick class at the chat and then i'm going to see 
if there are any other questions. Uh, Tim Pauly, and then we're going to switch on to accessories that would go really good with this. Um, you asked about one of the accessories already inadvertently. Does it have a fireproof rating? I put in a couple thousand dollars in there and I have a house fire and my couple thousand dollars is now ashes in the bottom of my wise lo uh, gun safe. What I can do is use this. Now I'm going to pull this up on the side here so you guys can see it. Uh, this is a bag and they're like $20 for two. You get a large and a small. The small fits perfectly in here. Waterproof and fireproof. It's actually made with fiberglass and silicone. And then, sorry for the noise, it has a waterproof zipper on here. So that person that was asking earlier today on Facebook about, hey, I need to put large volumes of money. I don't know how much money you've got, but there's a couple thousand bucks in there. And that's my mad money for the, the show. And then I put that in there. And now that's safe. Now, I don't know how long that's going to last in a fire. Again, it's better than nothing. And again, it's waterproof. So if this thing took a hurricane or something else it's now safe my couple thousand bucks is safely locked away um, and if there was a fire not only is this going to provide some protection obviously but that uh, that uh, fiberglass is glass fibers it's going to insulate just like your regular insulation and the silicone on the outside means that you're not going to have glass fibers everywhere when you're carrying this around it's actually not bad for just a transport bag if you've got money or something to transport so that's a great question Matthew, you got another question coming out. <laughs> Thousand dollar gun and can only afford a five dollar lock. Hey, some people spend it all on the gun. What can I say? Um, are these available for immediate shipping? Let's go talk about that. Yes, they are. And I'm super excited about that because that has been a pet peeve, honestly, for a lot of people. And if we go in here, they are shipping out right now. And actually, my friend that ordered two just got his ship notification on there. Um, so they are shipping out right away. I don't know how long this is going to last. Again, these are some of the features that it has in here, uh, just in the background. Uh, the, the price, I believe, is going to stay the same. I don't think it's like a pre-order where you're going to get a cheaper price and then it may go up in the future. I'm almost certain the price will stay the same, but I know that they're going to have to start charging for shipping because I ship a lot of stuff on eBay, <laughs> and that weighs as much as a computer that we've shipped before that we've built, a full-size computer. So they are available for immediate shipping in here. I'm just showing some of the demos. I've gone through all of these, how to set it up. Uh, definitely rugged. There's a little bit about that latch that you can see in the internal hinges. And then we'll go down here below that. And then we've got plenty of space, as you see. Uh, we showed you the two handguns that could fit very, very easily in this. And the other thing that's better than the competitors, which is the personalized access. You can set up your own codes. You can use your fingerprints. But the tracking of usage. Oh, and one last thing. I almost forgot this. So you're worried about battery life. Well, this is using all of the new technology that WISE has actually got. And I'm just going to go in here, device info. I want to bring up that up on the side. So this is, again, my wise device. And there's the battery level indicator. So you can see right there, um, and I've got 100% battery. So if I started to run low on battery, the app can tell me. So that's another important thing. I'm going to stop the alarm there. Awesome. Okie dokie. I'm just going to check the chat one more time, and then we're going to switch on. Um, Guy Peters... You are asking, does this have wall mounting? Let me show that wall mounting capability one more time. So Guy Peters is down there asking about the wall mounting capability. Absolutely, yes it does. Inside here, you can take a look. If I pull the back liner out, there's actually two holes right in the bottom and it comes with anchors and the screws that you need for them. And they're super heavy duty. They're not like cheapo plastic drywall anchors. <laughs> These things are burly, so very happy about that. Um, do you receive warnings for failed openings? Jacob, thank you for asking that question. That was a real popular one, actually. You will, but I don't know if it will wake up the app. Let's put it that way. So that's a great question for the, the folks at WISE that I'll follow up with. And speaking of that, if you guys do follow me on Twitter, you watch on YouTube, um, I'm very active in my Twitter and my YouTube community tab. So if you want to see something cool, um, you know, or have a question that I wasn't able to answer, you can follow me on there. Second thing is, this is John again for Tech on Tuesday. I usually do this show 5.30 on Tuesdays. I'm running a little bit late for the Amazon side because I also do it on Amazon Live. And I'm going to show you a ton of other products. You don't need to have a gun to have a safe. There's a lot of products like pepper spray that I highly recommend for, you know, defensive uses. 
uh, other things that would be very useful. The safe that we talked about here today is useful for guns and firearms, but it's useful if you need a personal lockbox for anything these days. We showed it you can use with money and other things that are important. But regardless, as a parent and a gun owner, a responsible gun owner, as you can see, I definitely, no, no, we can't put those in there, Jonathan, in the chat. Uh, as a responsible gun owner, I would implore you to get one of these if you have the funds available. This is one of the better ones that I've ever seen. I too am looking forward to somebody like the lockpicking lawyer checking it out and trying his darndest because I think they've done a great job. And even with that said, all of the features that they have here, I think it's incredible. Now I'm going to take a two minute intermission. I got to let the Amazon live folks in. And like I said, if you look in the video description, there's links to a bunch of other cool products that I'm going to show in addition to the wise safe, because things like this fireproof bag, things like this lock. If you want some sort of cheap lock, or maybe you want double the protection. Maybe you want to have a gun locked up and it be not usable. That's another thing. I've got a bunch of other things that I want to show you again, less lethal. And we have just different holster things that I've, I use with my guns. I'm going to show you. So if you're taking your gun out in public, how you can safely carry a firearm. That's another important thing, including <laughs> this guy. This is one of my favorite products. I take this to church. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> it's my medical pouch, as far as you know, but I'm going to show you a secret that it has later, which is really, really slick. Awesome feature. As well as one of the last products in here, which is this Pelican case, uh, which we had a question about earlier. They said, hey, is this one TSA approved, this Wise Lock? No, it's not, because it doesn't have the TSA locks that you would need. But this one can be so if you're looking for a travel option and a 12 pound gun safe is not your bag then i have this option for you too which again is a pelican case now these things are awesome they're waterproof they're air pressure proof um, they're super super durable i think they're lifetime warrantied for anything um, and they are like gold people hand these things down to each other i use them for camera gear i use them for everything um, they will float if they get thrown into the ocean or water or anything happens to them so one of my favorite products but i'm going to take a short intermission and i will get some water and i will get the amazon guys in here and we're going to switch on but this has been john the net guy i really do appreciate all you guys that showed up from the wise groups from wise and i want to thank again wise for sending such a unique and cool product <laughs> in the wise gun safe uh you know they took a chance on this one and regardless if you like guns you know like i said earlier I like seat belts. Even if you don't like cars, you should still like seat belts because it's a safety item. I think this is a great item for home and I'm super happy that they've made it. And I think it's going to be wonderful. Check in one thing. Oh no, we broke. <laughs> oh no. Uh, the gun safe from wise directly link is 404. Oh dang. Hopefully that's not on the wise side. Hopefully that's mine. And thank you wise for showing up. I'm going to hit the pause button here and I will be back in two minutes.
and welcome back everybody uh give me one second i am just setting this up for amazon live let's try that and let's hit live we do have the stream going and we're gonna do a three two one welcome back everybody this is john the net guy this is part two of my tech on Tuesday number nine, I had to show you a brand new product from the Wise Company, the Wise Gun Safe. That was our first part here. Unfortunately, due to some rules, I'm not allowed to uh, do that anymore because this is not yet available from Amazon. But what I did realize when I was doing some research for the show is that there are a lot of other really cool products that go well with this. And I want to show you some of those products today. Now, who am I? I'm John the Net Guy. If it is your first time here, you can catch me on YouTube, you can catch me on Twitter, you can catch me on Twitch, you can catch me on Amazon, you can do anything you want <laughs> to get a hold of me, but just don't call me late for dinner, except tonight because I'm doing a show. Um, and that said, my URL is going to be down in that corner. I actually have an Amazon shop, and so I'm going to show you that real quick here. If you visit the netguy. Oh, sorry, you visit amazon.com slash shop slash the netguy, you can actually see my Amazon shop. What's cool down here is if you go down, I've got idea lists, and this is the tech on Tuesday, safety tech. And these are the things that I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, some good, some bad. You know, again, if you can only afford $6 to protect your firearms and protect your loved ones, absolutely spend the 6 bucks and do that. This is an interesting product. That's what's going to kick us off today. If you have one of these gun safes or any of these other metal gun safes, they're not fireproof, and almost all of them are not waterproof. So I have a really cool product I want to show you today about that. And then we're going to go through some other things that you may want to carry other than a gun. Maybe your county, municipality, whatever has some restrictions. I know New York is really tough. Uh, or maybe you're in another country that, you know, pepper spray may help. One of the things I recommend highly on pepper spray, I'm a parent. I go to church. I've got kids. I'm not going to use a firearm against a dog that might be attacking one of my kids because the odds are I'm going to hit my kid as much as I'm going to hit the dog. So these pepper sprays can be really, really beneficial and helpful there. One of these guns is not like the other that you see out here. Now, all of these guns have been made safe. All of them are unloaded. All of them have been checked several times in the, earlier in the show and they have not moved an inch, but we're going to check them again every time we touch them. But one of them is not a gun. If you're not comfortable with firearms, maybe you weren't taught about firearms. One, I would highly recommend taking a firearm safety course. They are available everywhere. Find a responsible gun owner like myself. We love teaching people about firearm safety. And this is a great option. This is a Crossman BB gun. So in this case, you can buy this from Amazon. This is available on Amazon right now. And it is an exact replica scale one to one of a Glock 19. So it looks like a gun. It has a little bit more weight even than the gun. It's a little bit heavier than the, the real gun itself, um, but it can get you used to, to carrying, feeling, seeing a gun that is in a safe mode. And then there's other things that we're going to talk about, about safely carrying and transporting guns around you, whether you're concealed carrying, which I'm a legal concealed carrier, or you're going to be taking a trip or traveling. There's another product in here that I can do that. So Awesome. Uh, really do appreciate it. Use the chat on Amazon. If you guys are following on Amazon right now, I super duper appreciate that. Use the chat on Amazon and use the chat in YouTube, and I will try to bring both of those up if questions permit. And without further ado, we're going to take a look at this first product. And again, this is a gun safety product. We're showing guns today. All of the guns, again, have been made safe. And the goal of today's show is to teach you about storing your guns safely. We're not going to be showing shooting guns. We're not going to be showing any of the gun accessories like that. But this is about storing and transporting your guns. This first product is a lock, and you can see how it is run here. Now, I'm going to use the gun that actually can do that. I'm going to check it for safe. Again, it's unloaded. There's the safety. And there's no bullets in this entire room. I made sure of that. But I'm going to show you how this lock works. So we're going to come back over here. So this is a hoop. Basically anywhere that you like, if you have a bicycle lock, you can do this. This is from Lockdown. This is their 15 inch cable gun lock, non-marring. So if you need to put this down a barrel, you need to put this down a, a magazine well, uh, anything like that, you can do that here and you can turn this and it will generally open. There we go. <laughs> and releases the cable. So you can see that again, think of like those bike locks, the integrated bike locks. Now what I'm going to do to make this work 
is I'm just going to simply feed it through the magazine well of the handgun and I'm going to lock it. So once I've done that, now I'm going to take the key out and I'm going to show you over here on this side how that works. So that is making this gun not fireable. Now I can try to close, but it's not going to close. No rounds could ever enter the chamber this way. So this has essentially made this gun safe. So that's an interesting product. Now that said, this is not a foolproof product. This product can be tampered with. I showed in the last hour how I am able to pick it with just some basic tools. Now I can try again here. I may or may not get successful this time. I have not honestly been practicing for a day and a half. If that, that I did that, that I probably could get really good at this. But if you're a parent that has firearms at home and you have kids that are unattended and are curious, um, there you go. So I was able to pick that and now I've got the firearm and it's unloaded again, but I'm able to put it back together and put it in a, a stage where it could be used. And that lock was just defeated pretty quickly. So unfortunately that is a drawback and it's a known vulnerability. You can do that with master locks. You can do that with just about anything. Uh, that was a lot faster that time. So again, appreciate that. Um, it took me a little longer to pick it the first time. I think I was nervous. But, you know, these are, again, vulnerable to those kind of attacks, but it is better than nothing. So at the price point in here, and Amazon is selling it for $5.99, I would definitely recommend these. Now, if you have a long rifle, you can actually run these, again, through the, the magazine wells. If you have a very short barrel revolver, you can run this through the barrel itself. It's super skinny and small. It's at least 22 a little bit less than 22 caliber, so you should be able to run this down uh, as well. So that's a gun safety product. That's the first product that we're going to start out with, and that's made by Lockdown. You can find that in the carousel right now. And if you do purchase this, <laughs> I do want to say that you will uh, be helping me out with a very, very minuscule, tiny commission. And not only that, you're going to be helping your family out. If I didn't get any commission, I would still do this because I think that this show is important and these products are important and gun safety is absolutely important to everybody, especially responsible gun owners. The next product I'm going to pull up, excuse me one second here, is actually an accessory that could go really, really well with this wise safe here. It could actually go well with, like I said, any safe that you have here. And Ascendero is saying, thank you, sir, for answering my questions. And hello, thank you as well. So I'm going to open this safe. So you can see that this safe opens up with a fingerprint. It's got codes. It's got an app. It's really, really slick. They just launched it today. But the one thing it isn't is fireproof and waterproof. So I picked up this fireproof and waterproof bag. It's from the Full Live Company. <laughs> so you can see there. And why is it waterproof? Well, it's this line right down here is a waterproof zipper. And what might be inside? A bunch of cash. <laughs> so if you don't want your cash to burn up in a house fire or get soaked or you have maybe important documents that might smear, maybe a will or something, you can put that in this. And then I take it over to the other side here and I can put it right inside any sort of gun safe or safe that's smaller than what I have. And now it's protected. And the cool thing about this is the technology that's in these bags. Now, the one that you're looking at is actually two bags. They come in this. There's a very large one. This is good for legal documents. I'm going to see if I can pull up the exact dimensions for you of the large one. I was more important about the, the smaller one because I might want to put something in behind, you know, my firearm. But uh, 15 by 11. So you're not going to have any issues fitting large documents in this. And the smaller one is 7 by 9. They are fiberglass, silicone coated, and then it has a waterproof zipper on top of that. So that's how that works. And that's our second product of the day on the show. Now we're going to go to another product. And I kind of alluded to this in the beginning of the show. Um, this one, I'm going to go back over here to my Amazon shop. You can see it. It's right here. If you ever wonder about these or you want to catch them later, if you go to my Amazon shop, and the URL has been scrolling down there in the bottom, but if you go to slash shop slash the net guy, or you follow me even better, and you click on this saber, so this Sabre you can see right here, I purchased it, oh gosh, almost four years ago now, and it's still good, <laughs> uh, but $7.99, and you can have 
pepper spray. Now check with your, again, municipalities to see if this is legal. Very small. Um, it fits in one hand and it does have a safety built into it. So I want to show you guys that real quick on the side camera here. So that has to be slid sideways and then it can be used. Now this is good for a few, you know, seconds of stream. Again, you have to be really good at using this and it is going to be a spray. So there's a, a limited range and distance that you could use, but I highly recommend something like this, especially if you've got people that are out, you know, jogging uh, by themselves late at night, you know, bad areas. Absolutely. You can do this. So um, that would be one of the things I would recommend is the Saber. That's a, a really cool product. If you guys are just joining and you maybe you showed up late, I see uh, Ryan, you just showed up here. The first half of the show, we showed the Wise Gun Safe. This is a brand new product from the Wise Company. This part of the show, I'm actually going to be showing you some products that go with that because we're live on Amazon now too. So I've got my Amazon store running. And um, this product, again, has some drawbacks. Let me show you here on the, the product itself on the Amazon shop. You have a two pack that you can purchase. You also have different colors and oh, look, a practice canister. <laughs> oh, I see somebody special just joined. I got to pull this out. Get out of your mates. <laughs> hey, Kren, thank you so much for showing up here. Well, you missed the really uh, exciting stuff with the Ys, but you, you made it for the rest of the show. That's important. Um, but we were just talking about pepper spray. So what's cool about this is a practice canister. So this is an inert canister that you can use if you want to see how this is going to work and what the spray pattern and everything will be like. So again, 10 foot uh, range on this, it says 35 bursts, but if you hold down to this, it's going to take longer. It's going to spray more, um, you know, in one burst. So you're going to have to really modulate that. I'd be really careful. This is the smallest size. And this is the one, honestly, that my wife carries and, uh, you know, our teens will carry when they're able to go do that. So that is from Sabre and Sabre is one of the best companies. I did a lot of research of companies before I purchased this one because I wanted to have um, a very good pepper spray. Hey, Jacob, thank you so much, man. I got to pull that up here in a second. Uh, I just saw something pop up in the chat that was really interesting. I'm going to switch gears a little bit here, and we're going to talk about the next product, which is actually in my same thing, and this is from the Sabre Company as well. It's larger, and it is a pepper gel. Now, you're going to see how this works in the future. I purchased this, you can see, just before COVID, <laughs> because I wanted something that I could carry. Now, the little ones are great, and I keep that in my pocket. It's barely, you know, maybe a little bit bigger than uh, a roll of quarters. So, you know, most people don't see that. <laughs> and Kren saying, uh, looking at self-defense and gun products is weird for me. Absolutely. Uh, from other countries down under there, our Aussie connection, uh, some of these things are not allowed. And actually, products like this may or may not be allowed. So check your municipality on that one. Uh, but they are all sold by Amazon, these products that I'm showing today. So I qualify that with that. Uh, but the Pepper Gel, the Saber Red, this stuff here, is got an 18-foot range. And a really nice thing about it is it's actually a gel. So it's not going to spray out as much. So if you've ever had friends that, you know, are playing around and they hit the pepper spray and then everybody in the whole room is coughing, this one is more of a stream. So you're going to get that stream. It's got uh, 18 bursts, it's saying, with a 18-foot range. And so this one was really uh, important to me because it's got more capacity and it can be used indoors in a safer manner. And I'm going to tell you why that's important coming up here. So I'm going to go forward here. And we talked a little bit about this earlier. And again, this is for uh, my Aussie connection. We're switching gears here. We're going to take a look at the next product. And this is actually a air <laughs> pistol. This one is not a gun. Amazon doesn't sell guns. They don't. And actually, they don't allow you to advertise them or do anything. You can sell accessories and other things, you know, just not uh, banned ones. But this is the Glock 19 replica BB gun. Now, people are going to ask, why doesn't it have an orange tip? I've had other guns on the show here when we were doing the safe demonstration, and it had an orange tip. BB guns are not required to have that orange tip. So that's another thing that uh, is interesting. And this is such a replica that I was fooled by it earlier in the show. I grabbed it thinking, and I was going to do a, a mag check on it and a safety check. The slide does not move. Now, I've actually used this thing outside of pop cans. Destroys pop cans like nobody's business. So very, very interesting product. Um, I'm going to show you how it works real quick. So it has a feed rail here, and you put the BBs right there, and you can actually lock back the spring mechanism 
<laughs> and you can put the BBs in there and then they, they roll up. That spring will push them up and put them in position. So very, very easy to load. You can just tap that back and then you again place that here. And now that is a CO2 BB gun that's ready to fire. Now, if we open this backside here and again, practicing gun safety, I'm not pointing this at you and I'm not pointing it at me or anything else. But if I pull the back side off of here, you're going to see it has a little Allen key. It took me a second to find that. It's kind of embarrassing. But that goes in the bottom, and that is how you tighten in the CO2 uh, cartridge. So I have the CO2 cartridges in the carousel and in the idea list. I don't have them here to show you right now, but they very simply go in there. You tighten them down until you hear a hiss, and now this thing's ready to go. Now, in some jurisdictions, you have to be 16 to purchase this. Um, or use it or even uh, possess it. Again, I'd be really careful around kids, but if you're trying to teach them handgun safety, rather than start them out on a live handgun with real ammunition, starting them out with an air pistol like this is a great idea, um, something that I would recommend highly in training. So that's another really interesting product that I wanted to show you guys there. Um, it will come in a case that is gonna be nearly impossible to open. <laughs> And this is, again, that Glock 19. It's got Glock branding all over it. I don't know how they were able to pull that off. Um, again, it's a scale replica one-to-one. -one, and, and it fooled me. And I'm a gun enthusiast. So, um, you know, very important here. Uh, Michael M. from Houston is saying, hi. Sorry I missed last week. Oh, no worries, Michael. Uh, actually, I did give away a vacuum. You were entered in the vacuum, and I would have honored it, even though you weren't here, Michael. I appreciate that. Thanks for, for joining on the Amazon chat. And Dave Frank says, hit the T-cross in the eyes down the nose. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, people people love those here. Uh, Kren's saying, I don't think that can have a license. Uh, you can't have that without a license. And Ryan, thank you guys, man. This is this is why I love doing these shows with smart people like that. The gel will not blow back in your face in a wind. So again, more um, weight to this and larger stream. So that's a really good reason to have that here. And our Aussie connection says he can't get one of those without a license here in Australia. So sorry about that, man. You can always move, right? Um, I would take anybody. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go look at the next product. And again, we were looking earlier at the Wise Gun Safe. I hope someday that they carry it on Amazon because that would be really cool. It is a very, very well feature rich product. This is the next one I was going to show you guys, which is if you're ever traveling or going to a gun range, or want to securely store your firearm, but be mobile. This Pelican case is my favorite. Actually, Pelican branded cases are my favorite for just about anything. This is the 1170 case. Uh, I don't have the exact dimensions, but let's pull it up real quick here. If you're ever wondering about how to find what I'm showing here, it's in the carousel, but if you're on YouTube, the links are all gonna be in the description. And if you go to my Amazon shop, again, I'll put that out here on the lower corner here you can see it's got my amazon url for my amazon shop you can see i purchased this oh not too long ago <laughs> it was delivered same day one day uh, because i knew i wanted an alternative for folks that may be looking at that wise gun safe and say you know that's too expensive for me i live alone i just want something that i can lock up um, this is tsa approved if you get TSA approved locks, I didn't link any locks in there, but Amazon's got plenty of those. The exterior dimensions on this are 11.6 inches by 8.3 inches by 3.8 inches approximately. So um, that's what we're seeing on there is the interior volume is the thing that's in interesting to me. It's 10 and a half by six by 3.1. So again, same interior volume, as this wise safe essentially maybe a little bit more vertical volume so you could take whatever you can put in your wise gun safe there you could absolutely take portably with your pelican now everybody if you're looking at these you're going to notice this pressure relief valve here that is a dead giveaway and they even mark it now genuine pelican case right there um, that's a pressure relief. This thing is so waterproof that they didn't want to blow the seals out if you went on an airplane or up a mountain, that this actually has an air relief that will not let water intrude, which is really, really cool. Pelican makes a great product. This works for computer memory, CPUs. You know, I'm thinking about actually using this when I go buy computer parts, because I buy a lot of used small computer parts, drives, things like that, because I can put them in here. Another interesting thing 
about this Pelican case is the inside. So you can see here, it's like, oh, well, it's full. I don't want, I don't want it full. I want it shaped or molded to my product. Well, look at this. And I pull this sideways. See those squares reveal themselves. All you have to do is pull the squares out that map your item. So now again, I'm, this is not a real gun. This is the pellet gun. I can put that in there or the, sorry, BB gun. I can mold around where I want it. And then I can take all of those squares out. Maybe you've got one of those cool Mavic mini drones. You could pack this in. I use a much larger version over there for my drone and it works really well. And it looks so cool when you show up at a place and your drone is in a, a waterproof hard case. It's really awesome. So that is the Pelican 1170. The next one, I'm going to actually have to move a couple things here because it is about concealed carry. So if you are a legal concealed carrier of a firearm, and this is who I'm talking about now, nobody else, <laughs> Um, that allows you to carry a firearm in public. There are restrictions about firearm carrying, and that's important that you follow all of those, plus all safety precautions, and you carry it in a properly fitting holster. Again, concealed carry doesn't mean brandish. You know, I actually had a friend that uh, was in a situation, and he did have to take his gun out and prep it. My theory is if the gun comes out, it's going to get used. And that's, that's always been my theory. But if you're not carrying your firearm because your holster isn't convenient or doesn't fit well, that's going to be a problem. So you're going to get in a situation where you maybe wanted to have your firearm and you couldn't use that. Hey, Jim, uh, Jim B is here. He's our winner of our pet vacuum last week. So thank you. Good to see you there, Jim. Congratulations on that win. I'm going to show you a couple different holster options that I use. And I use this with my Taurus Millennium, the, the G2 nine millimeter. Now, if you follow the links in the Amazon right now, it's going to go to these holsters but you can find the different brands of holsters for almost any firearm. That's the beauty of these. The more popular your firearm, the better. I'm again, checking for safe on this gun. Now this gun actually has many, many different safeties. Um, there's some cool stuff. I'm not selling this gun, but one of the things that, that drew me to it is this little tiny hole here is that it can actually be locked on the firearm. It has an integrated lock. And as a parent, that was something that was really cool to me. So not only is gun safe cool, but there's that. What I'm showing you right now is going to be this Phobos holster. Now this is a paddle type holster, and this is an outside the waistband. So this side usually rides along the inside of your hip. And this here is where your belt loop goes. So your belt's going to travel down there. Now they are left or right sided. So you're going to have to have this. Now I'm going to just simply install it. And I'm going to carry it over here. Now you can get different ones that ride higher or lower. And as I take this firearm that's already been safe and we already checked and I insert it. Now, this is where I thought it's going to be interesting trying to show you <laughs> how much or how little I print. Now, printing is the idea that if you're walking around, you're wearing different clothes that people are going to go, oh my gosh, that guy's got a gun. And I carry uh, more than... <laughs> I would like to admit, and people don't know it. So this one until COVID hit was really good. You couldn't tell, except there's a little plastic piece. Now, is that a pager or whatever? This is one of the shortest shirts I own and COVID has made it even shorter, <laughs> but you know, that's how that one rides. So if I come back to the main view and people aren't really looking, you know, I got my hands in my pockets, you know, I can walk around now there. You can see a little indication that it's printing. If I pull tight, you can see that the, the butt of the, the handgun is there. So yeah, <laughs> Ryan's giving me a hard time about pager. I was kidding, you know, uh, but you know, honestly, I carry on this side. Most of the time I carry a Leatherman tool. So they might say, oh, that looks like the bottom of a Leatherman tool. Can I borrow your Leatherman? But actually, you know, this is an outside the waistband holster. And if you go to a gun range, the guys are going to be carrying something like this. And they may be open like this because it does allow quick and easy draw. If it was again covered, you have to practice this, but it's going to take you a second maybe to get it out of the holster. Now, I personally, because I print pretty badly with this thing, I got like love handles. <laughs> There's more to love here. Trust me. Um, because I print pretty badly with this one, I actually recommended the second one here. I do like this one. If I'm going to go out target practicing and this thing, I'm telling you, <laughs> I might not be able to get it off. It's so tight when it actually uh, engages you're not going to accidentally draw and pull this out 
uh, with it. So this is the nice thing about this one is that as you pull it up, you know, it's got that positive retention. Let me pull that up real quick on the Amazon just so I can show you a real close view of that. So this one was from Phobos and this is not the actual, this is not my gun that you're seeing here, even though this is the correct one for my gun, the, the PT-11 or 111G2. This is the right-handed version here, so you can see that it only fits one side. There's the paddle. That's how it goes down. Again, we were talking gun safety tech, so since I had to bring that out, I brought some safety, other safety products. Again, a properly fitting holster is really important. Another thing I really like about this one, and I need to talk about it, is actually this retention screw. So you can set the draw retention screw, uh, strength that you would have to really yank on this thing. If you're in a job that you're moving a lot, then you know you may want to have something um, that can hold that. Again, we, I'm watching that 1883 now <laughs> on Paramount. Uh, my wife and I are watching that. She's probably going to want to watch another episode tonight. But it's amazing, you know, the the retention of firearms and how important that can be. So this is the Phobos. This is my friend's uh, one of my friend's favorite favorite holsters he really likes that one i'm going to pull the next one up here and that is going to be an inside the waistband holster now this is another option now it's interesting about this one and i'm going to go back to my amazon page and i'm going to bring it up on my amazon page is it's completely different than the other one and it's adjustable for they call it the the cant or the the ride of the pistol you know when it's in there but let me pull this up real quick so you can see here, it's not carbon fiber, but it has that print. It's very smooth. That's one of the things you'll notice about this one. Um, I wear this with a shirt tucked in because I've learned my lesson several times pinching myself, uh, you know, putting it in and out. But the way that this goes in is again, inside the waistband and appendix carry. So this one for me is actually a lot better, uh, especially after COVID. So I can put again right here and I'm going to bring you over into the side camera here. So I have it and I'm wearing it right now and I'm not printing at all, but I don't have the firearm in. Um, so there we go. And there's the inside, the waistband. So the belt goes through it on the bottom, does have super positive retention there, but it's in a spot that I don't print really badly if I'm carrying this way. So if I'm going somewhere and I want to carry, this isn't that, that burns point, the appendix point, um, I can do that. Now, again, because we put it down, there's been nobody in the room checking double checking safe safe i'm going to put it in here and this is where you got to be really careful with this model you don't pinch yourself i'm going to put it in there positively so bring up the side camera so you can see me that that's how i'm wearing it and when i put my shirt down this is the shortest shirt that i own and i'm reaching for something you can barely see it there right so that's uh important to me if i'm going to carry legally and responsibly again i've got the gun safe here for home uh, you know retention of it we talked about traveling so if i've got this for you know locking it up or locking a longer rifle i've got some other products here that are not lethal for sure but if you need to carry your firearm with you this is another great option so i really like this one here uh chris jordan's given us some info he says there's really no such thing as tsa approved it needs a hard lockable case and the locks need not be tsa locks that's a good point. Um, you know, I don't know if they're going to break open your locks, but that's a good point, Chris Jordan there. Thank you for that. So I really do, again, if you are uh, a responsible gun owner, I do really do <laughs> request that you uh, have your gun in some sort of holster. You see the movies where people are carrying down the front of their pants. That's a good way to, you know, become a only child or no, you're already an only child <laughs> at that point. Uh, not have children. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so that's an important thing is to carry your guns safely. And again, drawing from this position for me would be a lot harder. So I can show you here. And again, I'm never putting my fingers on a trigger. We, we covered that in the first half of the show here, all of the gun safety rules. But if I had to draw fast, I'm going to have to practice that. So that's again from Kydex. This is the concealment holster. It's got the posi click retention. It's saying we're going to go over here to my Amazon shop and you can see it. This one's going to be a little more expensive, at least from Amazon. It has been, it's got a ton of different models. So depending on the handguns that you have, Walther, Springfield, SIGs. I had a lot of people talking about SIGs today, S and W's, Ruger's, kel -Tec, Car, H and K's, every Glock that they've ever made, Beretta 92 FS. That's what I have here on the table as well. They have just about every model you can have and left or right handed because it is important. So you can wear this in that appendix carry position 
front or back. So maybe uh, you have too much in the front like I do, or maybe you don't have enough and there's just not any concealment. Then you can put it in the back area here behind your hip. A lot of people have room there, and ladies especially, that's a good spot there. Unless somebody comes and taps you on the back of the hip and feels like that, that's a whole other issue. So yeah, this is from Kydex. This is their concealment holster. Now you can see here in this example, the clip on the outside holds belts incredibly well. So it's got the appendix, hip, or cross draw. I never recommend cross draw, by the way. That would be over here. And police departments don't even allow you to do that because you, you basically fan the audience as you're trying to draw. It's much better to draw straight upward like that. So, um, But it has all those different draw capabilities. And then on the side, and I'm just going to show you up here real quick, it does have that retention adjustment screw. So it's going to uh, go how much it's going to retain the firearm that you have. So that's another really cool thing. Um, I'm going to show you... Coming up here, the last product. And this is the one that I get teased at to no end, and people are going to tease me now. <laughs> but I think it's important to show you another option. If you're heavier set or you're like me and you print no matter what you're wearing, you know, you're, somebody's going to be like, okay, you're carrying. But you want to carry. Maybe you want to carry a little bit more. Maybe you want to carry a second magazine. Well, this product has been sitting back here that looks like an unassuming tourist fanny pack, because it really is, <laughs> is one of my favorite products. This is from Comfort Tac. It's the ultimate fanny pack. <laughs> and why do we say that this is the ultimate fanny pack? Well, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to switch over to the other camera so you can see what is in this thing and what I use it for. So, you know, you have on the outside... The ability to store things like this is that integrated key I was talking about with my Taurus. Again, it's not loaded here. We did check that several times. I can turn this and I can lock the firearm. It's got an integrated safety lock. So I carry that with me. If there's a case where I need to leave my firearm in a vehicle or something, I can lock the firearm as well so it can't be used or used against me. Um, got some pens, got some wipes. Does everybody remember when we had to use wipes during COVID? Until we found out it didn't do anything. Um, <laughs> There was that then we have more um, another thing that's important the odds of having to be in a life-threatening situation and using a firearm are much less than having somebody have a bloody nose or a medical emergency and wanting a pair of latex gloves and again that was really cool in the beginning of covid so i packed those in here as well but what's really cool and where this thing shines is in its concealed carry ability it has the ability to open up you guys ready for this completely <laughs> It is a concealed holster. Now, what's cool about this is that your firearm, again, checking here. Every time I pick it up or put it down, I know it's boring, but I slide it into the here. And when I close it and I belt this on, not only do I look like a tourist, but it's actually pointing the firearm away from people. If you look around, you know, you see people carrying these fanny packs that have pistols pointed sideways that are stage one that are ready to fire. You hit the wrong bump and I'm worried you're going to take out somebody. So this thing is very important to me that one of the differentiators, key differentiator, I would say of this product is that it holds your sub subcompact or compact firearm in a downward facing position. It also has additional room for additional magazines. So I have magazines that are not clips, by the way, people will totally get you if you call those clips um, it also has room for a tactical flashlight or in my case and i need to see if i can swap this around i use it with this pepper spray now be really careful in this pepper spray you have to lift up and then use it and if you're pushing down don't push down from the button <laughs> but it fits in like so and then seals up completely and i'm going to switch out to the wide camera so you guys can see this now again i'm drawing from the weak side here but if i put this thing on and a gosh it has not been adjusted for this and i have a microphone pack on the wrong side here getting some good advice here in the chat uh, zachary says always have a range bag now i can carry this unassumingly other than looking like a tourist all day long anywhere i want to go and if i pull this up on the side camera here I just look like a tourist that's overly prepared. And so now I can come in here, I can get a pen, pencil, whatever I need. Now what's interesting about this is that they recommend that you leave those uh, two straps here 
in a position that they can be opened quickly so that you can reach down in. Now I put it in completely backwards here, but you could reach down in and grab out your firearm and have it ready. So that's very, very cool. And this is from the Comfort Tech Company. Comfort Tech Company. Now there is one problem with mine and I've been wearing mine quite a bit, especially during COVID. Um, and I wear it in public just because it's easier for me. It carries more stuff, the additional masks or anything that you need, depending on your jurisdiction. Um, the stitching on mine, and this has been a problem that's been in the reviews, is starting to come off. I don't um, fault them for this at all. They could double stitch that. Maybe they double stitch it on the newer ones. I'm going to fix that, and I'm going to be super happy. But that is the Comfort Tack Ultimate. Let me pull that up here on the Amazon page. It's $23, and the cool thing is you don't need it sized to your specific firearm. And so the thing I like about that is that it will fit many, many, many different firearms. Um, I have the compact version and it feels subcompact. So I ordered this one a long time ago. Um, they do come in compact and subcompact. I would order the largest size you'd feel comfortable carrying. Um, and it's a way to safely, again, carry your firearm concealed. And uh, Eli, as when will you be doing more Dell Optiplexes? As soon as I'm done doing firearms. Now, <laughs> we did a tech on Tuesday show. We were showing the Wise Gun Safe out here. Um, that's a phenomenal product. And then we switched over to some few things that I would just carry or get if you're a responsible gun owner. So let me check the chat one more time, real quick, make sure I didn't miss anything. I do want to point that out too. Always have a first aid kit, especially in your range bag coming from Zach. A really, really good thing. And Cran was talking about the Pelican case earlier. I have an RC transmitter case with some sort of foam. It works really well like that as well. So, and that was it. And I want to call out Jacob. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat on YouTube side. Uh, sent me five bucks here. That was uh, the most I've made all night. <laughs> But I hope you had a great time. Again, gun safety is no accident. If you guys uh, are gun owners or thinking about becoming gun owners, uh, find a friend that is your safe friend. I had one tonight lined up. Uh, he was the guy that taught me all I know about firearms. Unfortunately, his uh, pet passed away today. So uh, again, prayers for my friend there and what he went through today. He was my Tackleberry man from Police Academy. I was expecting to be bantering up here with him and playing around with uh, all these great tools and showing some of the cool safety gear as well. So um, thank you, Eli. And thank you for the, the comments about the Optiplex videos. We're going to go back to doing some cool tech videos. I have another robot vacuum to give away. So we're going to be talking about that here really soon. So um, now that we've got through the entire show, I just want to say thank you guys all for coming. I appreciate Wise for helping promote this. And thank you guys all that have stuck through it. This has been John, the next, the net guy. <laughs> and I'm going to see you guys in a future video at next week, Tuesday at 5 30 if you're not doing anything i'd love to see you again we're going to do some really cool stuff and you'll see that invite if you follow it on amazon or you follow me on youtube thanks a lot mm -hmm.